I want to just make this announcement and let you know that God has entrusted me to you as a shepherd. You are, I mean, you are entrusted to me. God has entrusted me as a shepherd to you, to care for you, to protect you with God's help. Amen. And so I just want you to know that you are safe here. Amen. And I want you to know that any spiritual predators, wolves will not be tolerated here. This place is welcome to those who are coming with pure hearts, pure motives, who will worship God in spirit and in truth. And so quite simply, quite bluntly, those who are coming with ill motives in a predatory way to try to cause harm to the sheep, to God's people, they are not welcomed. If that is you, you are not welcomed here. And so action will be taken if that were to happen. I want you to feel safe and know that. So I just want to make that announcement to you all, just so you know this, just so you can be at peace, and also to let you know that you don't have to put up with nonsense, that you shouldn't put up with nonsense. You shouldn't put up with any kind of harm when you just want to come and worship God and receive from him. That's not acceptable, so don't accept it. By that I mean report to us, let us know, our serving team here. Or just if there's anything you need to report, you can just let them know, and they'll let me know, and I will deal with it with God's wisdom and instruction. Amen? This includes not just in the house, in the church, but includes online. If you're receiving inappropriate messages or anything, please report it to us so that we can make sure you stay safe and everyone stay safe. Does anyone else get the impression that her definition of spiritual predator is someone who questions her teaching? Perhaps.